And he tell you to remove yourself from those type of people. Remove yourself from those teachings. And you gonna go in there to those teachings because you got stature. He's gonna remove you from the book. Because he tells you clear. He's clear as day. But we're gonna get some, we're gonna get some understanding of this, because we're gonna look at this chart. So we know right here, so we need to time this up. Not in the lie of years, but in days. We need to add this 70 weeks up and get this straight. Let's look at this. 70 times seven. So 70 weeks times seven days. We just want to, we want to get the days added. Is what? 490 days. Write that down. I'm going to give you time to write it down. These are not years. This is the lie who somebody is not written on then taught you. We need to count them in scripture and this is where Christians, stupid people, have taken and fall off. <clears throat> this is what they did. And see, and, and the only reason why well, I'm kind of getting riled up because they have lied to you and continue to lie to you. To my people to keep you in sin but he came to confirm the covenant with many for one week let's look at this and how shall I depart from this and came nigh unto the sea of Galilee and went up the mountain and sat down there so now we know what's going on because we're going to see some more of what's happening. And then a great multitude came unto him, having them where they was lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others cast from down at Yahweh's shy feet, and he healed them. Didn't he, didn't, he, didn't he do his disciples the same way? He said, let's get them healed, but we, I need to feed them this information. I got to inject this in them. So let me remove their problems to where I can give them the truth. Because if I try to give them the truth and they got these problems, they're not going to hear me. But if I hear, if I hear them, they're going to be wondering. And then the ones who've seen that happen, they're going to want to hear what I got to say. And so much the multitude wondered and saw that the dumb speak. You see that? In the main behold, in the lame walk, in the blind see, and they glorify Yahweh of Israel. See, this is this is this is what was going on. This is what's happening. Then Yahweh shall call his disciples and said, and, and, and called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion. On the multitude because with me now three days and have nothing to eat I will send them away fasting least they faint in the way so what do you do and his disciples said unto him which should we have so much bread in the wilderness keep bread in the back of your mind Israel, keep it bred in the back of your mind as to fill so great a multitude. Why? Because there's over 5,000 there. But we're going we're gonna to get to that. And Yahweh I said unto them, How many loaves have ye? And he said, Seven. In a few little fishes. I have seven. In a few little fishes. Were they cooked? That's something we'll talk about in the later in the later teaching. Cause you don't hear them where they cooked it, but that's something we'll learn in the later teaching. 
verse 35. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took seven loaves and the fishes and gave thanks and break them and gave to his disciples and his disciples to the multitudes. And what happened? And they did all eat and were filled. Really? And they took up the broken meat that was left, the seven baskets full, and they did eat were 4,000 men besides, not even counting the women and children. So, we had a one week, 490 days, equal to what? So you have 490 days, minus seven days, you have 384 days left. Right, I'm giving you time to write this down because this is it's real simple. So let's go back to Daniel 9, 25. Therefore, understand that from the beginning going forth the, the commandments in the restored Jerusalem unto the Messiah shall be seven weeks, three score and two weeks in the streets and shall, shall be built again in the walls, even in the tribulous time. So we have seven weeks and three score and two weeks, meaning 62 weeks. Because three score is 20s so and it's three of them three score 62 weeks and the street shall be built again which is another teaching within itself because that's a whole nother thing within itself so we have seven times 62 in the 69 so we need to understand that so we have 69 weeks left because seven days was confirmed. So let's look at that. So he says, so after three score and two weeks shall the Messiah be cut off, not, but not for himself, but the people of the prince shall come and shall destroy the city of the sanctuary and the end there shall be with the flood and the end of the war desolations are determined. So three score and two weeks, meaning what? 62 weeks. Yahweh Shai is going to be cut off in 62 weeks, in seven times. So seven times, and we got 62 weeks, that's 434 days. I'm going to give you time to time that up. So we got 300, four, I mean, sorry, we got 434 days. And, verse 27, and shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. So remember, we got the one week in there. In the midst of the week, he shall be, he shall cause the sacrifice and oblations to cease and the overspreading of the abomination and he shall make it desolate and the consummation and the determined shall be poured out on the desolate. So we can confirm this one week, which is seven days equal from, from everything. We have 441 days. When we added all that up, you got 62 weeks, seven days. That equals 441 days. Check it out. So 441 days from 49 days, so from 490 days, you're going to have 49 days left. So let's look at that again. So we have the 62 weeks in the seven days. Okay. Then we have another conf he confirmed with seven days equals all. See, because with the 62 weeks in that it equals 441. And then you have 441 equals from, from 490 equals 40, 49 days left. Then you have the three days he was in the tomb when he died. Compared to the same as when Jonah is what he said. So we're going to look at that. Matthew 12, 40. It says, for as Jonah three days and three nights in the belly, in the whale's belly, shall, so shall the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. So now we have three days and three nights 
from the 49. We got to take we got to take that three days from there. So we have 62 weeks, 343 days. One week, seven days equals 441 days. Now we have three days equals 444 days. So now we have 46 days left. So I say it again. We have now from the three days, because remember he died and he was, he was three days in the belly of the whale. So same thing he's talking about. So 62 weeks is 434 days. You should be able to add that. Then you had seven days, that one week that he did the confirmation and that was 441 days. Then we had the three days, which is 444 days. So now from that left, we have 46 days left. And then we have to, then he showed himself to them for how long? Let's go to Acts 1 and 3 and get that clear. And to whom also showed himself alive after the passion by many infallible proof being seen of them 40 days and speaking in them pertaining to the kingdom of Yahweh. So now we have 40 days after his death that he risen showed himself speaking in things pertaining to the kingdom of the most high. So now we have 62 weeks equal 343, 300, 434 days with the one week equal 441 days. Then we have the three days which he was in the tomb, which is, it comes up to 444 days. So again, the 70 weeks, again, is 490. So 4, 444 from 490 equals four, um, 46 days left because we got the tomb now in there. So then we had a 40 days that was also taken off because we had to take 40 days from the 46 days. So that leaves us with six days left. This is where everyone messes up because six days are left. This is why they start went and they start timing things up. This is why they did it. Because Yahawashai, as I said, a few things we need to keep in mind. He's the Lamb of God. So, the Most High tells you something to do, as Yahawashai said. If you're going to be called sons of God, you need to do as he do, as what commanded of us. So let's recap and we're going to check some things out. So you have 70 weeks, 490 days, 62 weeks, 434 days equals 56. Then he confirmed the covenant for one week with the 56 days minus seven days is 49. They need to go down, and then um, and then he was buried for three days. Minus forty nine from the forty nine, you got forty six days left. Then he showed himself for forty days. So with the forty days, you have six days left. So now we're going to look at Daniel, Daniel right below. It says, 70 weeks are determined upon the people and upon the Holy City to finish the transgression and to make an end of sin and to make reconciliation for sin and to bring everlasting righteousness and seal up the vision and prophecy and anoint the Most High. That's what, we, that's what we're dealing with. So we have six days left to where we're trying to make this all click. So 70 days, so 70 weeks, 490 days, 62 weeks, 434 days. You take all that down, you got 56 days left. Confirm the, the covenant with them for one week is 56 from seven. That leaves 49 days left. He was buried for three days from 49. You got 46 days left. He showed himself for 40 days. You take 40 from, from, from the 46, you got six days left. You see that? I'm leaving it here to where you can write it down if you need to. But let's move forward. So then the same thing, 
as we're looking at this, so now it tells you Daniel said, so after three score and two weeks, shall the Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. So he didn't do this for himself. And the people in the prince shall come and shall destroy the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with the flood. And unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. So we see that. We understanding that. This is where we're getting ready to, to start nailing in on this. So again, <clears throat> we had a six days left. This is where most people get confused and cannot account for the six days. But the way you get the six days, you have to precept the Bible. Because he's going to tell you a few things on where you get this from through precepts. So let's look at the same as he. See, because we got to do the same thing as he do. That's why he said he see as his father do, then he'll do it. So let's go to Exodus 12 and 3. And let's look at this. He says, speak unto the congregation of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of the month shall to them every man a lamb according to his house, and their father a lamb of the house. What day is this on? On the tenth day. The tenth day. And the household might be too little for the lamb. Let his neighbor of the next uh, next unto his house take according to the number of his soul. Every every man according to his eating make your count for the lamb. So here go your keys are gonna start coming in. And the lamb should be without blemish of the first year and should take out of, of from the sheep or from the goats. Why? Because he shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month. The whole assembly of the congregation shall kill it at even. Now, as you was preparing, as we said, as you was preparing for this time, when did you grab it? On the 10th day. Then to the 14th day, that's when it happens. Now you remove four more days. But we still have two days left. This is where I always tell you we have to understand spiritual outside of fleshly. So we have to take the lamb on the 10th day. And then we're going to do it in on the 14th day. So we have another four days. But where's the other two days? Because it's two days are missing. So let's get to two days through the precepts. Let's go to it. Exodus 16, 28, it tells you. And Yahweh said unto Moses, how long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws. See, the Most High is telling you, how long are you going to refuse to keep the commandments and my laws? Verse 29, and here's your key. See, for if that Yahweh had given you, understand what he's saying, Yahweh had given you the Sabbath, therefore he giveth you on the sixth day in the bread of two days. Abide ye in every man his place, let not a man go out of his place in the seventh day. So, what do we have? You have all the days fulfilled. Because he's counting one as two. Same as the sun, as when you see where, where he kept the sun up. When they went to war. It's one of the same thing. And you got to remember, bread is for two. It's counted as two. So, that was on the Sabbath. That's why he looked at it in that way. And that's why he told them that in that way. That's why you have to look at it in the spiritual side. 
This is why they'll miss it. So many, as I said, keep your finger there, but I know many are gonna say, but what about those sacrifices? And he didn't command it. What about that? Is it a, is it a commandment? No. Yahweh came to remove the sins of Israel and his suffering, which was filled. 